What's up, everyone? So I want to clear up a couple of things. Um, you know, we watched all the, the videos going back with uh, Devin and Engen the other day. And, um, you know, at the end of all that, we had uh, Devin confirm that he was going to be a part of East vs. West. And uh, it just got a little confusing on Engen's uh, video of uh, if the Prunic match was actually 100% locked in. But what did actually happen was that uh, Engen offered Prudnik as his first match. You know, uh, Devin saying that he was going to be part of East versus West, but he didn't actually commit to saying he was going to pull Prudnik. So uh, also in that interview, Engen did say that, um, you know, he would offer anybody that uh, Devin wanted to pull. So, uh, you know, I might have jumped the gun a little too quick and uh, said that the Prudnik and... Devin match was actually locked in. I didn't mean to misinform anybody. I just was a little confused and how everything was worded and you know, the back and forth and all. So I just wanna clear that up for right now. So as of right now, all we know is in 2023 that uh, Devin will be part of East vs. West. We don't have a date and we don't have a match confirmed. So uh, in this interview that you're about to see with uh, Todd Zilla, you know, that was from yesterday. So, uh, you know, I still was under the impression that Prunik was gonna be Devin's first match back. So just take that in context, guys. And I'm sorry for uh, any inconvenience or uh, misinfo that I uh, betrayed. Definitely wasn't meant to happen that way. But uh, enjoy this interview, guys, with Todd Zilla. Yeah, we got a uh, confirmation that uh, Devin Lorette is gonna be pulling Prunik in East versus West. We don't have an actual date, but uh, what we do have is uh, Devin telling Engen that he's given him his word. He will compete in East versus West and the first match that he will take will be against Prudnik. Uh, did you so hear maybe, that? Maybe, Jan I did not hear that. So maybe January? No, we're thinking uh, more towards like July. We know that um, he's got to rest and you know he's going, doing a lot of promotions for arm wrestling and all. So, you know, I think they're going to give him, you know, a good sufficient amount of time just to, to recover after that big match versus Levon and all. You yeah, know. but committing committing to a match uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven 11 months from now isn't really committing to shit. So much happens in 11 months. You know, who knows? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the, the number that I heard, bro, and, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but they were throwing out numbers and they were saying it was uh, – 10% of 200,000. That's a $20,000 uh, paycheck towards Devin, you know, and that that's telling me two things that core sports and Engen are doing very well with this East versus West uh, organization. And they're making money if they could be paying athletes this much. And it's also telling me, you know, that arm wrestlers are finally getting some paydays, you know, and if Devin is offered 20,000 to pull Prudnik, I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm not so sure Devin should be offered more to pull Prudnik than Jerry was offered to pull Gennady. Okay. <laughs> so, you know what, you, that's you know, great. I think, look, as a capitalist myself, I think everybody should make gobs and gobs of money. So I'm glad the money's out there. Well, the reason why I believe that uh, Devin, you know, kind of is on his own level as far as uh, getting appearance fees and all is because what he brings, bro, when he's part of a promotion, man, he's a one man team, bro. You don't need to promote his match at all. I mean, you're going to have the whole world watching and interested. All the non arm wrestlers are following Devin. So, you know, it, it makes sense. You know, bringing him in is going to bring in a lot more profits for whatever organization gets him. So I kind of do understand that, you know, he does get more than the rest of the, the pullers out there. Oh, absolutely. Everybody's worth their stock price. Now, do you think um, at that 115 kilogram cap, do you think it's going to be too much of a challenge for him to beat Prudnik? 115 that's 230 plus 23 so that's 250, 253 253 pounds yeah <clears throat> 253 pounds is still a fairly large devon and it's a huge protein um i think prudnik and De devon are fairly close but come july who knows what happens um Yeah, that uh, 
I mean, I don't think Devin will have any trouble making that weight, and I think they'll both be strong. I'm just thinking that's a scary big prudent. That'll be an interesting man. I don't know who I would pick on that one. I'd have to okay. wait. You know, after after uh, Prudnick pulls Michael Todd, I think that everybody will have a clear, a clear thing. But then you just so read my Prudnick mind, bro. Pulls Michael Todd in November, and he doesn't pull Dev until July. What's um Prudnick going to do in January and March and April? I mean, <laughs> Prudnick's got three or four more months there before he pulls them in, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. But uh, another thing that comes to my mind is what if Monster Michael Todd throws the monkey wrench in and gets the win that day? Does that cool off the, the whole hype behind Prunig versus Devin? You know, that might just kind of take that whole, like, fire and all that hype away. Well, and that is that is something that's interesting about, you know, Engen pre-announcing matches that far because you never hear about that in other sports you know when you line matches up four and five months ahead of time and then um you know the earlier matches don't go the way you want you know that confuses things <laughs> yeah so i think the same thing happened in wal when jerry beat michael todd i think i can't remember anyways yeah it's uh and arm wrestling is its own unique um culture sport when you announce that Prudnick's pulling Devin in July, no matter what happens. I mean, what if, you know, what if Prudnick catches monkey COVID or some shit? You know, <laughs> you know what I what I think happened is uh Engen just trying to lock in Devin somehow and get him involved in this East versus West organization. So you know Engen being a man of his word, once he puts out an offer out there, Engen is not gonna go back to that. You know, he's not gonna try changing up the match, you know, because well, no, it's not it's not a matter of that. It's just that there's a lot of stuff that's out of Engen and Devin's and Prudnick's control in the next 11 months. <laughs> you know. So it's definitely gonna bring interest to uh this next meetup november 19th we were we're all going to be watching how that match turns out between the monster and prudnick and all so uh very excited about both of those you know either way even if uh monster does get the win i still gonna love to see prudnick pull devin anytime devin pulls somebody it's always exciting you know that man brings the hype with anything he does well if michael todd beats prudnick michael todd has a legitimate case to make it he should pull Devin for twenty thousand dollars yeah there you go for the rematch at uh at a lighter weight class you know that could be interesting yeah. right there.